Hello YouTube, welcome to my Aliens Isolation and playthrough, continuing my horror theme for my Wednesday videos. In this episode I'm going to just jump right into the game and see how it goes. I did watch Alien vs Predator, which I didn't find to be very scary, but I'm hoping that the game provides more horror than that movie did also many years ago when my brother made me watch it with them. So let's go right into it and hope it goes as at least as scarily as my other one for Dead Space. Play game, only in isolation, start game. I don't have the connect so these are not going to work. Medium. Really? Uh, you saved the tiny bit of touch screen I got before Dexter turned the backs off. Short range shuttles are used by the hospital for fast journeys. Oh, the alien is not the only threat on board the station. Good to know that ahead of time. And now I'm gonna sit here wondering what else is there. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. It's a lot of people to lose. Cargo and ship destroyed. On one mission. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. makes me feel so bad for her because it must suck being the last survivor. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel. The Anisadora has recovered Come what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? I can't see him, but my dog's over the there staring at me. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, he doesn't so like the company wants there, it to be He doesn't like being downstairs by himself. Come on! You've been fine this whole day while I've been recording. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Just check my mic. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working your toy? in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. So she's Maybe trying to find her mom. There'll be some closure for you. Hmm. I don't blame her. I would be searching far and wide for my mom too if she was missing. 
And you'd be there with me searching for her too, huh, Dexter? And you have mommy too. Will you come here and stop whining? Come here! <sighs> I think he knows I'm playing a horror game. I wasn't happy with me being scared at the last one. Put that shoe on. Get dressed. Can I can I take the shoe now? Here's your phone. Can I take the shoe? How do I get dressed? Or is Getting dressed. Do I? Alright. How do I get dressed? How do I get dressed? Do I, do I go this way to get dressed? Personal storage. Okay. You're open. Wait, search. Take all that, it seems like I need them. That only took me eight minutes to get dressed. That's pretty sad. Mm. Apparently you know, on look out for a navigation officer. I <coughs> have a friend that just lost a ship. It's looking for Fox forms, got good papers, same old story, make corpse undercut them, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though, dropped by the docks, heard you just shipped out to the bull station. <clears throat> still, I hear Waylon, you, you tell me pay, pay well. Good luck to you if you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Okay. Nothing else? All right, sit there. I'm supposed to be registering something. Uh, all right, let's see. Am I going this way now? Oh, nope, that's the shower. Now I'm all wet. <laughs> Except it doesn't seem to have that function in this game, but that's okay. Hi. 
It's pretty cool though that you can get in the shower and turn the water on. Even if you're not like soaking wet when you walk out. Okay. Okay, let's crouch. Well, it's like peering around corners. I think I saw that in a preview at one point for the Kinect. You're supposed to use your actual head motions. Which way am I supposed to go? This way? It's alright, Dexter. Hello? Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrance facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... Pinastromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close inspection. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor okay? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. All right. These buttons are green. Can I press them? Oh, there's gonna be someone lying in there. So point out, isn't there? Or is that just a fun little thing you can be distracted? Distractions. All right, I need to go back this way, I think. Dexter! Why? You're okay! Oh. There we go. That's the way I'm looking for. Wait, I came from this way. So do I need to go the other way? Shh. Or is it just down this way? Looks like I can go same place anyway. Well, come here, Dexter. Can you go outside? Is that what it is? Alright, I'll be right back guys. I gotta make sure if that's what it is or not. Guys, sorry about that. You didn't want to go out right before I started, but and suddenly he's all whiny. Dogs, right? Tell gotta love them. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's the morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. <laughs> Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you. 15 okay. years. We we'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen it's a long things? time to be missing. He's probably been up for hours. Checked. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. I want to see what this is first. Oh, that's her email. I'm not gonna sit here and read through that. It's kind of invasive. How do you get to the bridge from here? I'm just gonna follow you, assuming that you're going to the bridge. Oh, you are. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. 
She was a wreck when I bought her. It took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing document? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Briefing document. Is that this? Yep. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. <clears throat> I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. I'm already we're in flashbacks to docking on the station. We request immediate state permission state to transfer the passengers port side over. Earlier today. Hello, Marshal. Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit. She looks so worried. You'll have heard from us by then. The legal lady. Safe with the glasses. She does not look happy to be here. Stand by. And I don't blame her. Doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. I've always wanted to go to space. Hmm. If they wanted volunteers to go out in space, I'd be second in line. Anyone who's watched Mark Player know who's first already. <laughs> but I don't blame her for being nervous. I would be too on my first base rock. What happened here? My god, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. <laughs> Just keep moving! Get spaced right off the bat, do they? Tell me they didn't just end up in a position they're gonna die right away. Tell me they didn't. That's. But. No. Can't do that, Cave. You can't mess with my heartstrings like that right away. Oh, you better not come across them dead later. They better survive. Oh, why? <sighs> all right well either way that's all the time i have for this episode sorry about how oh, the cut in the middle there for the dog happens when you have pets but looks like we just got through the beginning and next episode we'll delve into the actual war part of the 
gameplay, hopefully. So, until next time, just keep it real, spread the love, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.